Hello everyone, my name is Joel Thomas. I am the professor for your Writing One online course and welcome to this navigation video. This video should help you learn how to access the various pieces of this course and what to do to get started and how to work through each week among other things. So let's get started. We're going to start with what you probably see when you first start into the course is a, an announcements and welcome page that should be the first thing that pops up you can always check this area for various announcements throughout the course of the semester that help you know um, for example if I've graded a paper recently or if there's something that I need to really tell you to remind you things like that okay let's get started by looking across the top some of you got this information from other orientation sessions but in case I'll quickly follow it this is where you're gonna find your profile and how to set things up for your account and things like that. This is a fake student, not my name. Um, comes from an old movie. This is going to be a little bell for notifications and updates to let you know various things you need to know. This is where you're going to find um, nothing here right now obviously but right uh, this is where you're gonna find subscriptions from forums um, if there's something that you're following to see if somebody replied um, or if you're trying to have a conversation whatever um, this is where you're gonna get messages and can send messages to various people um, you can use that to contact me if you want to and I will often send messages to students um, as needed this is your course waffle hopefully you know about this already but this is where you can access various courses that you're in okay so let's click on content and get started and we're gonna look here in writing one um, this is what's available to you right now to see most of us when we first access something we'll start with the overview I don't have a lot here right now some uh, instructors will use a syllabus but I already got that in a couple of other places so we'll move forward bookmarks you can just bookmark various things throughout the course of the semester so you can access them very easily course schedule um, we'll also look at the calendar here in a minute and see how that works um, but in your course schedule you can go through here and see what you've got due soon um, you can also find that I'm going to do a little bit of a op right click open link a new tab and note that you can also see that on the front page here so and it'll even tell you if there's anything that's due or overdue right here so just showing you all those things at once there so again back within our course here um, that's the course schedule table of contents will sh show you everything in one big line um, that's a little confusing for me but some students like to kind of see the whole thing at once and then here's a start here module all of these individual things are called modules here and this will tell you what to do and I may shuffle some of this around by the time you see it but you're going to find different things like where to begin and information about your instructor and some other essential first information. You're definitely going to look through the course syllabus very, very soon. Um, the first week there is a quiz over that and these videos here. You'll see those also again in your week one. Um, here is your how-to information and basic course info. And I'm going to show you something here that you might want to know is this muddiest point form that's where you can go in and ask anything you can ask questions um, about your class of course like maybe um, I put one due date on the course schedule in the syllabus and you see another due date here in Brightspace maybe something simple as that maybe there's something you don't understand from the instructions odds are if you've noticed it other students are gonna have that question too so feel free to ask that even if there are things about your college experience that you need to ask about I'm happy to answer those there or if you're just bored and want to ask me random questions, um, that would be really fun and entertaining for me. Um, if you just randomly ask me, hey, what did you eat for dinner tonight? Um, you know, whatever. I appreciate that kind of uh, fun randomness. All right. So you can see other information here to help you throughout the course. And sometimes I'll add things if I have a few students asking about how to do things. Or as we get into various things, I'll, I'll post other videos and other helpful things. All right, I want to show you one other thing in here um, besides this essential information that you need. Back in the Start Here area, make sure you click on Technology Requirements and Support and look through and make sure you're okay to go forward. And one thing that I'll note real quickly is we do a lot of assignments 
and papers in this class, obviously, it's a writing one, and you need to make sure you're uploading those in the right format so I can read and grade those. So these are tutorials and things if for some reason you're having problems with that. Keep in mind that you can get the Microsoft Office software for free from Information Technology Office if you're not sure how to do that. Um, post in the Muddiest Forum, Muddiest Point Forum, send me an email, um, I will help you out. Okay, I'm clicking back on content and we're going to get into our first week here. And every week you need to kind of follow a similar process. Um, you need to jump into the week one introduction first and that's going to give you a little bit of a background, a little bit of an intro. Right there I'll post what we're going to do that week and things that you need to be working on and then some learning objectives for the week. Now as you get into the weeks, especially if you set off a block of time to work on things and you just kind of want to move through as much as you can in one sitting, um, while you do need to be logging in and working at least several times a week, I understand I'm the same way. I like to do things in big chunks of time. So one way that you can navigate through here is to click on these buttons, and these arrow buttons, and they'll take you on to the next thing. So in this case, it took you from the introduction, which is sort of outside um, everything else to start off with, and it took you into the lesson sub-module here, and then you can move through here and go through different videos. Um, I like to provide learning through videos. Now obviously you'll have reading to do. The information about that will be the introductions. But these videos are generally going to present information for you. Um, they're PowerPoint presentations that I've included audio and then I've uploaded these to YouTube. So you would just click play here. You can click a button here. You're going to hear my voice for a second. Welcome. There we go. And then we'll pause that. You can click here in YouTube and go. Most of these have closed captions. For some reason, this first one and maybe occasionally other ones won't. Um, if you need closed captionings very badly, um, if it really would help you, um, send me a note and I'll work on transcribing those few that don't work. Again, for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't uh, auto closed caption everything. Um, they just do most things. So there's this information um, down here about other formats so you can access just a regular PowerPoint presentation. Click on that and it'll want you to either open it or save a file and then you can work through the presentation at your own pace if you would rather. Um, and there's a PDF of it as well if you would rather scroll through it without the audio and just get the information. That especially can be helpful if you're going back to use it for a quiz and looking for something specifically. You'll notice that every week with the videos, I'm going to show you across the top here. Let's go back in here. You can see kind of a, they call it breadcrumb trail. This will kind of show you the structure of what's going on here. So you can always just jump back to week one if you want to, to kind of see the overall picture. And week one's a little heavier because there's a lot of introductory stuff about the course. I try to break the videos up into smaller chunks as much as possible. I know our attention spans are a little short. Um, and sometimes when we're searching for information, it's easier to go back through a shorter video as well. Okay, working through the week then, we've looked at our introduction, we've worked through our lesson. These are supplemental resources, they're not going to um, be or mandatory, and I generally won't put anything from these on quizzes, but they are things that are helpful. In this case, the first thing we're working through is a narrative paper, a narrative essay that hopefully you enjoy, and there's an example of that that another professor here wrote. We both uh, are doing the same prompt this semester, and he provided an example. So you can look at that and some other stuff to maybe help you brainstorm um, topics. Now we'll have a very specific topic that we're going on this one, but you may have other work that this will help with. Then down at the bottom of every week, you're going to see learning activities. And these are going to be quizzes, discussion forums. Again, this week's a little heavier just because it's introductory stuff. It's not going to strain your brain. It's just to make sure that you look through what we need to look through so I know you are ready for this course. And a little bit of a meet and greet. And then you'll actually get to the content for this week in a quiz and the instructions for your major paper. Now, um, oftentimes I will have the instructions and um, add some information about a due date. I need to go back through and finish doing that. But usually you'll find that. Same with this discussion. Usually there will be a due date. I just haven't gone through 
my course one last time to set all the due dates up, but I will have that there so you can see it. Okay, scrolling back to the top, then there are other things across the top I'm going to quickly describe. Class list shows you who else is in the class, class progress. That's going to show you overall how you're doing working through things. Keep in mind that I and a lot of your other professors have a lot more stuff in classes than we actually use, and sometimes we forget to hide that. So I wouldn't just go in there and start blasting through everything. Just keep going week through week, work through what you need to, um, and then this might show you eventually where your progress and, and where you sit. But um, some students never really mess with that, and some students find it very overwhelming, but I'm just letting you know in case your mind works that way and you want to use it. Assignments is going to take you so you can see what assignments are due and coming up specifically um, and with due dates and things like that. This is not going to include things like discussion forums and quizzes though. That's, those are sort of separate areas. So again, this is here for you if you want it. Um, same with quizzes. You can kind of see those laid out um, if you want to access them that way. But again, I wouldn't take a quiz from the future um, because by the time you get to the week I may have changed it or done something differently. Um, and usually I'll set that up so you don't even have access to that until a certain time. Grades, again, that's where you're going to access your grade book and see how things look. Um, if students are asking a lot of questions about that, I may post a separate tutorial just on how to look around on that. But hopefully you can make sense of it um, early on here. Um, the other things, course admin and ePortfolio, you're probably not going to use. Those are things that as an institution um, we use, um, but you're not really using those yet. Brightspace help, you can click on that and get help as well. But I'm going to show you an even better way to get help. Click out of that. And if you go back into content and you click on way back here, remember this how to information and basic course info, there's a technology requirements and support. If we click back on that, down at the bottom, you're going to see who to contact when you have problems. So if you have login information, the registrar's office, course content, Cop, uh, talk to your instructor and see um, what, what's going on with that. If you're having technical issues, things are glitching up on you, things are freezing, you're having other problems, you're going to click here. This is, this is the best place to go for that. Um, and there's even somebody there that you can chat with and you can look for answers to questions, problems you might be having, things like that. Well, hopefully this quick video showed you what you need to know to get started. Again, if you have questions, you can look in the syllabus and contact me again just so you see the syllabus is right here in the start here area right down here it'll probably be moved by the time you see it but syllabus is in here um, and you can also contact me by once again going to how to information course info and going to the muddiest point forum all right thanks for watching everybody i hope this has been a very informative and helpful video Good luck in the course. Contact me anytime, and I'll see you online. Thanks.